Hey, good morning, YouTube. I want to do a uh, like a part two review of my uh, Heritage Rough Rider, chambered in 22 LR or 22 Mag. So before we continue, I'm going to go ahead and show you clear and safe. And you can do it one of two ways with this firearm. You can uh, open the loading gate, go ahead and half cock it, rotate your cylinder and check down. But to show you on camera, there's another way you can do it as well. So you've got this little pin here, right? I'm pushing it from the other side. You see it? And there's a pin that holds the cylinder in. So what you do is you half cock it or you half cocked, open your loading gate. Now you can press that button, pull your pin. There's your pin. And then your cylinder comes out. I'll show you clear and safe six empty cylinders empty chambers so this cylinder is the 22 LR cylinder that's fluted slightly but it is fluted and then it also comes with a 22 mag cylinder which is nice right now this one's not fluted so but um, it's nice to be able to have that interchangeability especially when you're going out to the range and you, you know gives you a little bit you know more to play with more to work with um, now reassembly is pretty easy it's already in the half cock position open your loading gate take your cylinder or make sure it's in the correct orientation slide it in and then take your pin and you have to press that button again to get it started and once it's in it goes all the way in Give it a nice little tug to verify that it's in. Okay. So, um, I, I really do enjoy this this firearm. Uh, it's been very good for me out on the range, and uh, it's uh, operated excellent. I, I have zero complaints with it. Um, especially if you're looking for like a... Um, you know a firearm just to you know plink with or maybe you're new to shooting and you kind of want to start off with something kind of oh i would want to say this gun is easy but it's you there's a little bit more technique when it comes to loading and unloading this firearm um but a, a great learning pistol or just something to have fun and go plinking with and uh for the safety orient oriented this is uh also excellent because it's one of the only revolvers that I personally know of, but I'm, there might be more, don't quote me on that, but it's the only one I know of that has an actual safety on the firearm. So um, right now the hammer's down almost, okay? So I have the lever up that's in the safe position. And you can kind of see right there where the hammer's not in contact with the firing pin, it backs it off. Now if I was to take this and rotate it down on camera, so let me kind of do it here. See how the hammer went forward? So now it's it's ready to fire. So on camera, I don't know if you can see this. There's a red dot there. Red, you're dead. So right now it's in the fire position. And then something that you can do with this gun that you can't do with most 22s is dry fire with it. So with it being in that safe position, so I'm going to go ahead put it in safe backs that hammer off doesn't ever come in contact with your firing pin and now you can dry fire with this so see how the hammer never contacted the firing pin now you ask yourself why can't you dry fire a 22 so I will take a 22 mag cylinder here and show you so what happens is is that the firing pin on a 22 rimfire is that it actually strikes you know along this wall here so this, hence the name of the cartridge this is a rimfire cartridge so you know the cartridge sits in here and that it you know the edges of it hang off and that pin strikes the edge of that round and if you don't have anything in here it's going to ding your cylinder and it's going to make it harder for rounds to go in rounds to eject and eventually you could end up messing up your firing pin um, 
So that's something you don't need to do with a 22, any 22, as a matter of fact. But with this one, because of that safe action on here, right, you can dry fire with it because when you cock it and you pull the trigger, the hammer never contacts the firing pin. So that's one pro to this gun that I think is great, especially if you're trying to just, you know, practice it, you know, just sit here and dry fire, you know, practice the trigger, you know, cocking the hammer, trigger pull on it. It's, um, it's excellent. Now it is single action, so that means every time that I want to pull the trigger, right now the trigger's dead, it's not going to do anything to have to cock it, right? That is single action. So, you know, if it was double action, you could sit here and pull the trigger, bang, 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 or you could cock the hammer, and it would be double action. So, yeah. Um, I've got, I'm trying to think about what I've put through this. I'm hitting, I mean, it's not a lot, lot on it. I'm probably hitting around the 400 round mark. I went through a box of 100, another box of 100. Or not 100. I went through like the little boxes of 50. Sorry, so it's 50, 50, so that's 100. Another 50, 50, that's 200. I hit 300, and I went out shooting the other day, and I hit 400. It, I'm a little over 400. I didn't get through that last box I was through. So I'm sitting around 4, 415, 420, 425 on this gun. I'd have to go back and count my rounds, but um, I'm over the 400 round mark on this gun, and I've had not a single problem with it. Um, something I do with every firearm that I've ever purchased is I disassemble it. Um, didn't find anything wrong with this firearm when I disassemble it. Um, just made sure everything was you know in there correctly. I didn't see any like you know leftover um, you know t uh, like machining material from the factory you know in the action. And um, I didn't find any of that. Um, but uh, this, this little gun will. It goes. It's it's excellent. Um, I did an initial review of it, and someone had commented that you know the the trigger on heritages are trash. Um, I don't I don't have a trigger gauge, but I mean if like I said, it's in safe. This hammer is not going to contact that hammer or the the firing pin. Sorry, but I'm gonna sit here and pull the trigger for you. It's not heavy. I mean, it's pretty light. Um, I, I couldn't guess on the weight, but it's light. Um, and it's fairly accurate. Um, you know, the, the it's just got a, a trench rear and a front blade, but I mean, I'm fairly accurate and I haven't shot anything out further than probably 25 yards with this thing, but I mean, I can hit it all day with this firearm. Something I like with this one is you can get this firearm in many different models, right? Variants, I guess. You can get it with, I think they have one called like the Barkeep where it's got um, like a very short barrel on it. You can get one with a much longer barrel than this. I think this one's like the, it's a 3.75 inch barrel, I think. Don't quote me. I'm pretty sure that's what this one is here, but... Um, and you can get it with different, you can get the actual, you know, standard cowboy grips or the bird's head. I personally like the bird's head. I feel like it, it fits better in my hand. Um, and that's just personal preference, but that's the great thing about these firearms is that they have so many variations that it, you can get any configuration you want. And all around, you know, like 120 up to like 180 bucks, you know, and that's pretty good for a little, you know, 22 it's all metal. Um, the finish on it's pretty good. Um, mine was like a super, but I think I, mine came in, you know, after taxes and everything. Uh, I think I was like 130 something, I think. It wasn't a lot. Um, you can kind of tell, you probably can't tell in the video, but, you know, with your eyes, this, the finish on this barrel's nice. And then when you come back to the frame here, it, I don't know if it's a different metal or if it's a finish type, but you can tell it's slightly different. But doesn't bother me any. 
and then you know down here in the trigger and the trigger guard back up into the, the grip it's the same finish as what's on the barrel um, these grips I got them off of eBay um, the ones that came on it um, they were like an orange looking color they were advertised as like a red wood they looked orange but I, I picked up these and I, they're fairly cheap too I think you can pick them up for like 20 I forgot what I paid for these I picked them up put them on there they are slightly thicker um, which actually kind of helps with the grip it's not because the guns already so small right but um, so a little bit more meat on the grip I think definitely helps but um, I think earlier in the video too I mentioned you know like with newer shooters trying to load and unload this thing um, if you've never shot like a cowboy single action firearm before um, loading and unloading it's it's fairly simple it's just more time consuming so basically with this one what you have to do is you have to go to half cock and then you open the loading gate and then it individual you have to individually rotate to each cylinder and see it's got that nice click it won't let you go past the, the cylinder as you, or the the chamber as you uh, as you load which is nice and then when you're unloading same same thing right you half cock it open your loading gate and now it's got this lever and it ejects your round rotate eject rotate eject each time for six six shots um, it's um it's really good I also have Excuse me. I also have a Ruger Wrangler that um, I also love it too. It's a great gun, but I feel like I prefer this one more. I feel like if I had to go back and do it all over again, I would have bought this one first. Um, I'd kind of read, you know, some things online like heritages are trash. They're so cheap. I've got zero problems with this gun. I've, I, I mean. 400 rounds to it so far, it ain't got a problem with it. And if you've ever shot a single action gun, 400 rounds through one of these guns is a lot because you've got a you shoot, it's six shots one, two, three, you know, and that's fast. You know, if you're trying to do well placed shots, you know, you're taking your time aiming, and then you got to manually unload each round and load it. That's a lot, and yeah, not a single problem with it. Um, um, I've, I have had it like a couple of ammo related issues if you don't know anything about 22 long rifle ammunition it can be kind of finicky sometimes I have had one or two and just not go off you know, um, I tried to cycle them through like a, a different gun they didn't go off either they were just dead rounds and sometimes that happens with 22 um, um, but yeah uh, like I said I have a hair or excuse me a uh, Wrangler, Ruger Wrangler here. You can kind of see the comparison between the two. Now, let me show you clear and safe real quick. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with um, the uh, Heritage here. I'm going to open the loading gate and something I just forgot and what I was sitting here fiddling with this one doesn't have to be in the half cock position so when you open the loading gate this one free spins and same kind of deal here you press this button and then pull your pin and then your cylinder comes out now this one doesn't come with a 22 mag cylinder um, there is a different variant of this that does I think it's like the super wrangler or something like that I'm not exactly sure but as you can see it's clear and safe but so it only comes with the one cylinder now what you're paying for with this one is I guess you know just quality um, you know it's like how it's machined and You know just the overall appearance of it so the finish on this one is Cerakoted 
Cerakoted and then the cylinders, you know, stainless black, not fluted. You know, it's um, and this one's got the standard cowboy grip on it, and they make a bird's head option as well. Um, so if you want to go that route, um, no safety, this is like the, the, the heritage. Uh, so the only thing I it's, it's not even a dislike, it's just something that I've noticed with the Heritage that I like versus this one that I didn't know I didn't like until I had the Heritage. So when you're loading and unloading, you open your loading gate and once you open that loading gate, the cylinder free spins. It doesn't click each cell, each empty chamber. So as you're loading and you're finding each chamber to load into you have to spin to the next one sometimes you can go past it or whatever I like the fact that the heritage will click into place for each empty chamber so you can load and unload so you know where you're at and this one it just kind of free spins it's not a deal breaker um, this thing's super smooth like I can sit here and splash watch you spin that like it it spins and then same type of operation with it, you know, it ejects the same, and then, uh, you know, I, you can't sit here and dry fire this one because of the fact that it doesn't have a safety. It has no way of, you know, removing the hammer from the firing pin, but, um, you know, it's, um, it's a good gun. I definitely recommend this one. This one... You know, depending on where you look, comes in around 200, 220, and can't you can't, you can't beat that price either. But I feel like you're getting more with the heritage, and um, like I tell anybody, don't don't knock it till you try it. If you've never shot one, um, and with the amount of accessories and everything out there. Um, you can't really beat it and how many variants of it there are you know and barrel links they got one where the barrel length is like like joker length you know um you know uh like you know he had that big the joker had that big barrel on his gun uh in like the older batman you know movies but you know that that's just one of the routes you could go with it and different grip options uh they have different um finish options on them and uh, though you know as you add those you know as you get up in those variants the price can differentiate but I've never seen one over like 200 bucks so um, yeah like I said can't beat it um, 400 rounds through this gun 400 plus rounds through this gun I can't, I can't beat it. I can't knock it. Um, you know, if you, uh, you want a good little 22 plinking gun, the, the fact that they can do, do 22 long rifle and 22 mag, it's got a safety for a novice shooter, a younger shooter, you know, somebody who's just trying to get into, you know, cowboy action guns for the first time. That's kind of what I was doing with it. You know, seeing if I wanted to get something, you know, bigger and like, 357, you know, they make these in 357, you know, 45 long cold. Um, I think one day I'll go that route. I just, you know, got to break down and buy them. But, uh, uh, yeah, this is, this is a good one. I definitely recommend it. And, uh, yeah, I hope this video was beneficial for you, and I hope it helped. And uh, if you can, just like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.